I think it can very often be a little bit deceiving on just how many skills are required to make something even seemingly quite simple uh, when we're learning to sew especially. So in this video, I want to break down with you all of the skills I needed to create this, my latest little masterpiece. And just with hopes that when you look at something that you want to create, say it be this or anything else, that you can start noticing and seeing all the different skills that you might need to complete the item. So it's not so overwhelming and you can break it down a lot easier and know what's going to be involved in that dream project you have. I did in fact go all out with this new make of mine, as you can see, and we'll go to it in detail in a minute. But I thought it was really great timing to talk about all the different skills, because if you've been around here for a while, you know that I believe that like a garment is just a bunch of different sewing skills all put together. This is my whole philosophy of sewing. What I teach in vintage sewing school to all my students is to focus on the individual skills when you're putting something together because that same little skill then once you know it translates to all different types of projects that you want you know we don't want to just copy a pattern blindly right we want to be able to create the things and by creating it means you need those skills as a base and it's always about building those little skills now i thought about making this video because i have two versions of this same skirt here. And I was thinking about how, you know, when I first started, it would have been really useful to see, to be able to, to see a project that I really wanted to make, say this skirt, right? And be able to break it down into the different things that I would actually need to learn and know and be good at to create it. So that I could maybe create, do one of those little skills as practice and then another one and another one. And then eventually I'm ready to put them all together into this, right? It'll make sense as we go along, I promise. Because one thing I teach in Vintage Sewing School, and I've even made videos uh, here on YouTube about it when picking easy sewing patterns for yourself, how to know how easy or hard it will be by, the way I describe it, is how many things does the sewing pattern have? And a thing could be lots of pattern pieces, a zip, a waistband, buttons, facings, piping, interfacing, you know, all these different little things are different little skills. So what's included in this one to what did I need to do? Well, first there is the waistband. So this is an entire skill by itself. And actually I have made videos here on YouTube with waistbands. If you're having some trouble about how to get them, I'll link all of those extra videos down below for you. So on this waistband, I actually did a number of things. I did not only fusible interfacing, I did sew in interfacing as well, which is kind of another skill in itself. And I did a ditch stitch method to uh, finish it off with, which of course is nicely invisible in this. I'm quite happy with how that one turned out. But again, that is another skill ditch stitching in itself in the waistband is those two ones there. I of course have a zip and buttons and buttonholes, which are yet to come. I do admit I'm like any good sewing Instagrammer here and I've still got the hem and buttons to do on this, but we're looking at it anyway. So buttons and buttonholes will be a skill, something that needs to happen on this. Using the bias grain, actually, you can see it's all on the diagonal the whole way around. Using the bias grain is definitely a skill in its own. I had to fit the pattern. So not only did I fit it to my size, I adjusted the waistband um, height. I actually tilted the waistline because my waistline tilts and I created a hem facing for the hem. What else did I do to this pattern? Oh, and adjusted the skirt and created patterns for these little welt pockets. Get to those because of course there is welt pockets in here <laughs> if you couldn't see them there. Uh, welt pockets are an entirely different, like that is a set of a skill in its own is how to do welt pockets, right? But I've included them in this skirt. And then let's point out the very obvious crazy pattern matching over here, right? It is pattern matched not only through the front, through the side seams, through the back, over the zip, and of course, these welt pockets, perfectly little pattern match into the little stripes. I know, I did say crazy, right? I am crazy. I actually did this as a pattern matching workshop for my students at Vintage Sewing School on how to pattern match and how to get it perfectly. And I know, that's why I'm quite excited about this one. I think this one is an absolute beauty. Uh, if it's something you're interested in learning on, uh, that's what I do in Vintage Sewing School, I have workshops, everything, the whole deal is there. I'm gonna put links down below. Again, it's all these individual skills that you learn. So I know what you're thinking though, 
oh my goodness, that's a lot of skills, right? Look at everything that we that I had to do to learn, to know, to, to make this, right? But don't get overwhelmed by that because the whole point is that these skills are all built on. For example, this blue skirt over here is, well, pretty much the same pattern, the one that I started with, and it's like the version one, right? And so on this one, the only things that I had to do were, obviously I fitted the pattern to my size, I did buttons and buttonholes, I did the zip, I did side seam pockets in this one, a e much easier version than the welt pockets, but that's sort of it. I've got the waistband and I just did a fusible interfacing, no sew in, just nice and easy. I did do the ditch stitch method, but again, you can see how this is a very toned down version. So I got to perfect the waistband and sewing interfacing and, and practice stitch, ditch stitching. This one is on a bias, so practicing the bias and practicing uh, the zip and the waistband before I then add on welt pockets, sewing interfacing, pattern matching, what else was there, hem facings, before I'm adding in all these other things as well. And this is what it's about is a progression of skills. So where am I headed with this? What is the, what, what does this mean for you? I just want it to know that when you look at something even crazy, amazing like this, think about all the, like start to be able to break it down in your mind, all of the different skills, all the different things that might be included, because then you might not need that whole version straight away, right? You could do a simple version first to know to get to practice and you'll count off your list, right? I already know how to do waistbands and <laughs> I'd done zips before, right? So that's two off the list. So maybe you're ready to add X, Y, Z number of things in there. I think this, to me, this really is helpful in knowing if something's sort of too difficult or, and as always you want to challenge yourself, but you don't want to put too much on your plate that it just gets overwhelming and it's too much and you give up. Like that's not, that's definitely not what we want. We want a nice easy challenge that is a nice progression of skills just a little bit at a time is when you find the most success. And hopefully this gives you a new view, a new way to evaluate when you look at those designs that you really want to make. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Has this changed how you look at evaluating designs differently. I'd love to hear it down below. And if you have any other great tips for us in uh, chunking down and different skills like this, let us know too, because we are a community here and it is all about helping each other to learn how to sew those clothes. Remember, all of these skills and everything is what I do at Vintage Sewing School. This is why I do what I do is to help you be able to create those garments that you see in your mind that, you know, those dream ones that you want and building up and just getting to there. That is what I do. It's my whole purpose of being. So I invite you to come join me at VintageSewingSchool.com where uh, I can take you through all of that and show you all the ropes there on how to do that and really help you. So links are down below. You just click the little um, button to have the drop down and it'll be in the description box down below. Come join me. Okay. Until next time, my sewing friends, happy sewing. <laughs> Bye.